Hi, I'm Gavin Cooney from Nernosity, and in this section we're going to talk about our question editor and how we can customise this to further lower the bar for authors, including getting down to teacher level authoring and very, very simplified uh, authoring. Label an image, drag and drop. So we have this two part. We have the, um, the, the, the variables and, uh, and the, the authoring on the left hand side and a live preview of what you're doing on the right. So I'm going to put in the stem. So uh, drag the city onto the map. And of course I can make that bold and so on. I've, I have a what you see is what you get editor for, for those things. And as you can see, as I type it, over here we have that, that preview. And I'm going to drag these boxes around. That goes up there. Uh, this goes here somewhere, say Chicago. And this goes to Texas. Um, and now I'm going to label the boxes. So you see here, choice one is going to be Portland. Choice two is Austin, Texas. And choice three is Chicago. And the preview happens. And now I'm going to go to validation and put in the correct answer. So there's my scoring rules, all that kind of stuff is in there. Box number one is Portland. Box number two is Chicago. Box number three is Austin, Texas. And now I can play with the question. The question's written. It's done. So there's Portland. Check the answer. And I've got overall incorrect, but I've got one thing correct. And because of the scoring rule, you can see the score right here. Zero out of one. OK, so I want to change the scoring rule. Let's make that a partial match per response. Now, I drag it over, and I've got one out of three in this question. And I don't get the question overall wrong. Uh, and that kind of feedback isn't given. There's Austin, Texas. There's two out of three. And then I can do partial match, which then will give me uh, it's still zero out of one. But you can do rounding things here. You can kind of you can round to an integer. You can round up, round down. Those type of complex scoring rules are there and, and exposed to you guys as, as administrative authors. But your your lower level authors are going to have templates before we do that. So how do we template it? Um, first thing is you can start removing features. You can default stuff and you can remove anything in here. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to customize it. I'm going to remove the metadata field, the advanced field, the formatting field, turn off certain things, um, hide a load of features. And now start that again. And now it's the same editor. But when I go into author a question, for example, I now have two accordion things rather than five. So you're kind of simplifying that, 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 that thing. So what we really try to do here is, I, when I talk about authors, I talk about the middle of everything. Middle America, middle school, middle age. And we're constantly trying to improve this editor um, until my mum can author complex math question types. And that's when we stop. You know, it, it, that, that's, the, that's the level we're going for. And if you met my mum, that's, that's quite an achievement. Um, but the point is we need to lower those bars because the subject matter experts are not the IT experts. We, you shouldn't have developers authoring TEIs. It should be simple enough. So let's look at teacher authoring, how we really, really um, limit what they do and, and, and make it really simple. So let's do a, a math uh, or Cartesian graphing question. So we start off with the this, this STEM. You're, asking, you're being asked to plot the following points. So I'm going to go in bold, three, two and uh, minus three, minus three. So there's a stem written. And now I'm going to put in the correct answer. So we're doing all programming here. It's the idea is three, two. I'm just going to draw the correct answer as, a, um, as, a, as an author here. And minus three, minus three. So there's the answer is written. And over on the right hand side, you have that live preview of exactly what the student sees. And that's exactly what they see in all of the browsers. There's no kind of go off and preview it and, and, and do, do some sort of publishing and see what it looks like. It's there, and the same rendering uh, on, on, this, on the right-hand side of this editor is what the student will see later on. So I can go in and I can draw, was it 3, 2, and minus 3, minus 3. Check my answer. I got 1 out of 1. I got my, my green tick, and on off I go. Another simple example of that comes to, um, here's a match list question. I'm going to make it as simple as we possibly can. So drag the city onto the map. And we'll put in the, uh, the options will be, or not map, obviously, 
um, which city uh, matches which state. So the options are going to be um, Austin, Portland, the only cities I know, uh, and Chicago. And that's going to be Illinois, Oregon, and Texas. I'm not even going to try to um, spell Illinois. Um, so, so there's the preview, and I can put in the correct answers here. And uh, so Illinois is Chicago, uh, Portland, and Austin. And you know you get into a level now where teachers can genuinely author these TEIs because you've so, so simplified it. Thanks for watching, and please check out our YouTube channel for more videos about Learnosity.